Sunday afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. We are three minutes late, but we are glad we could be here with you. Rafi Muki and I are excited to be with you. We just had a wonderful meeting called an annual general meeting where all of the churches in the parish of christ the king got together in order to make plans for the upcoming year and men let me tell you i am happy that all the people in the parish are willing to do such an awesome job for the glory of god and guess what that's what we're talking about today jesus doing an awesome job for his people in his hometown but you know something even though he was going to do something awesome for them like giving his life for their sins, even though he was going to perform miracles for them, they rejected him. Today we'll be looking at the rejection of Jesus as we look at the gospel and this gospel for today that you would have heard in all of our churches come from the gospel according to Luke. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Luke chapter 4 verse 21 through to 30 is a continuation of what we looked at last week. And this is Jesus the prophet being rejected. But you know something? Before we get into why Jesus was rejected and how that probably made him feel, let's listen to our first song. Our first song is a kids action song from Go Kids Asia and it is called 123 Jesus Loves Me. Let's have a listen. in his village and guess what the people in his village they did not show Jesus this love in return mm -mm. they are going to be rejecting Jesus and that's what we'll be talking about today from Luke chapter 4 verse 21 through to 30 and of course we're going to have our Bible reading this one from that same one and it will be read for us by Mr. Douglas Brown and Mr. Brown is reading from the contemporary English version of the Bible let's have a listen The Prophet Jesus Not Accepted Jesus said to them, What you have just heard me read has come true today. All the people started talking about Jesus and were amazed at the wonderful things he said. They kept on asking, Isn't he Joseph's son? Jesus answered, You will certainly want to tell me this saying, Doctor, first make yourself well. You will tell me to do the same things here in my own hometown that you heard I did in Capernaum. But you can be sure that no prophets are liked by the people of their own hometown. Once, during the time of Elijah, there was no rain for three and a half years, and people everywhere were starving. There were many widows in Israel, but Elijah was sent only to a widow in the town of Zarephath near the city of Sidon. During the time of the prophet Elisha, many men in Israel had leprosy, but no one was healed except Naaman, who lived in Syria. When the people at the meeting place heard Jesus say this, they became so angry they got up and threw him out of the town. They dragged him to the edge of the cliff on which the town was built because they wanted to throw him down from there. But Jesus slipped through the crowd and got away. We want to thank Mr. Douglas Brown for leading us in the reading of that one. And you know what? It's so sad what the people did to Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
It's so very sad what they did. Because here he was in his hometown with his people, people that he grew up with. And instead of being excited that he was there and happy that he would have come to do things for them, they became angry at him. And we're going to hear why in a little while. But we know that we are not going to be like those people in Jesus' town. Mm -mm, none at all. We are going to listen to this one entitled, I have decided to follow Jesus. Because instead of putting Jesus out of our life, we're going to accept him in and we're going to follow him. This one is called, I have decided to follow Jesus. And it's going to be done for us by Go Kids Asia. Let's have a listen. I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back The world behind me, the cross before me the world behind me, the cross before me The world behind me, the cross before me No turning back, no turning back Though none go with me still will follow though none go with me i still will follow though none go with me i still will follow no turning back no turning back no turning back no turning back you have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I am really upset you know boys and girls I'm upset at what Jesus's people in his hometown did to him I really am I mean have you ever had somebody you did nice things for them you treated them kindly and then they still treated you bad that doesn't feel good does it imagine how Jesus felt when the people in his village who he grew up with did that to him he probably didn't feel didn't feel right and you know what? I feel sad by that. But let's listen to Douglas. Douglas is here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to tell us. Well, no, it's not Douglas. Today, it's our friends at Edgewater Alliance Kids Ministry. And they're going to tell us all about how Jesus was rejected at Nazareth. And why he was rejected. And our friends at Edgewater, they didn't even show their faith because they weren't feeling well. And they were afraid that because they weren't feeling well, they were going to be rejected. Let's listen to the story. Jesus rejected at Nazareth. Good morning, everyone. How are... Wait. Why am I a doodle person? What happened to me? You're not feeling well, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. So anyways, have you ever been rejected? That's when someone won't accept you or believe you. It can really hurt to be rejected. Jesus knows how you feel. He was rejected, too. After he was in Capernaum, Jesus visited the town where he grew up. Let's see what happens in Luke chapter 4, starting in verse 14. Jesus was traveling all over, preaching and teaching in the area of Galilee. He went to his hometown of Nazareth. While he was there, he went to the synagogue. That's where the people worshipped God every week. He stood up to read, and the scroll of Isaiah the prophet was handed to him. Jesus unrolled the scroll, and he found the right place. It was a prophecy about the Messiah, the Savior that God had promised to send some day. It said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has anointed me to announce the good news to poor people. He has sent me to announce freedom for prisoners. He has sent me so that the blind will see again. He wants me to set free those who are treated badly. And he has sent me to announce the year when he will set his people free. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it back to the attendant and sat down. 
the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were staring at him. He began by saying to them, Today, this part of scripture is coming true as you listen. Jesus was saying the words were about him. He was saying that he was the Messiah, the promised Savior. They probably didn't totally understand what Jesus was saying, but everyone said good things about him. They had known Jesus since he was little, though. Isn't this Joseph's son? they asked. How could he be the Messiah? Jesus said, you're probably going to say to me, do the kinds of miracles here that we heard you did in Capernaum. What I'm about to tell you is true. A prophet is not accepted in his hometown. Jesus said, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, and there had been no rain for three and a half years. There wasn't enough food to eat anywhere in the land. But Elijah was not sent to any of those widows. Instead, he was sent to a widow in Zarephath, near Sidon. And there were many in Israel who had skin diseases in the days of Elisha the prophet, but not one of them was healed except Naaman the Syrian. He was reminding them that in the past, God's people had disobeyed God and rejected him. Because of that, prophets like Elijah and Elisha had helped people outside of Israel. All the people in the synagogue were very angry when they heard that. Was Jesus calling them disobedient? That they had no faith like people long ago? They got up and ran Jesus out of town. They took him to the edge of the hill on which the town was built. They planned to throw him off the cliff. But Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Jesus had known these people since he was little. They were his friends and neighbors. It must have really hurt him when they rejected him. Jesus was sent to be their savior, the savior of the whole world. But they would not accept him or believe him. Jesus is God, but Jesus was also a real person, just like you. He felt hurt, sadness, anger, and disappointment. When you go through rejection or something difficult, he can help and comfort you, because he knows what it feels like. He understands what it's like to be human. What is hurting you today? Right now, find a quiet place to be alone and talk to Jesus about it. He understands, and he loves you so much. Do you have a question about today's Bible story, or one about God, the Bible, being a Christian, or the church? Message your questions to our Facebook page, Kid City at EAC, and you may get your question answered during next week's video. Have a great Sunday, everyone! We want to thank our friends at Edgewater Alliance Kids for the use of that video, and yes, rejection hurts, and Jesus probably felt hurt, and when we are rejected, we feel hurt. If you have ever been rejected and you need to talk to someone, tell your parents, talk to your priest, find a teacher that you trust, and talk about it with them. Jesus was rejected, and you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because when I think of all that Jesus has done for me, when I think of all that Jesus has done for us, I find it so hard to reject him. Because he gives me everything I need. He gives me awesome friends in Mookie and Graffy and you. And he gives me an opportunity to tell people about him and his love. And that, that for me, is enough reason for me to always want to accept him and walk with him. That the people rejected him because they thought that he was being mean to them. And he wasn't. He was telling them the truth. That they rejected him because he said he was the promised Messiah. He was. He was telling the truth. That they felt guilty about the truth is why they rejected Jesus. And sometimes people will reject us. People will not be willing to be around us or with us when we try to tell the truth. When we try to do what is right. When we try to serve God. Sometimes people will not want to accept us. But you know what? 1 John chapter 10 tells us that what we do, we do for the glory of God. We don't do it for the glory of man. The world might reject us. But guess what? We don't mind because to be rejected by the world but accepted by Jesus, that is what is most important. Now, we are running out of time, yes? And we have to wrap up for today. So I'm going to ask you if it's okay for us to pray and then I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and bow your heads that together we could say a prayer to bring all of our concerns to Jesus. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence and to learn from your word. God, today we heard that Jesus was rejected, not just by people who didn't know him, but by people he knew, people he grew up with, and of course, by people he loved. 
God, we, we are sorry that so many people in the world still reject Jesus today. And God, we know they reject Jesus because when we try to share Jesus with them, they reject us. God, we're sorry. We know that when we try to present you to others and they reject us and don't want us to tell them about you, that it's not us they're rejecting, that it's you. And God, we are sorry that so many have chosen to reject you. Father, we pray that more eyes and more hearts will be open to see you. We pray that you will give us strength and courage to, even in the face of rejection, continue boldly to walk with Jesus. Help us to remember that when we stick with Jesus, he sticks with us. Help us to remember that all we have comes from God, come from you. They come from Jesus and, and he is there as a benefit to us. And that rejecting him is the wrong choice. Father, for those who have rejected him, work in their hearts, work in their minds, create a softness in their hearts that when they get an opportunity to hear about you and to learn about you, that they will no longer reject you. God, we're sorry that when we reject you, we are doing it by rejecting others around us as well. By not treating people the way we should. By not loving them the way we should. God, help us to remember that that which we do unto the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to you. Help us to be accepting and loving of everyone because we are accepting and loving of you. Father, if ever we reject you, please forgive us. And please help us to come back into good relations with you. We love you, Lord, and we lift ourselves and our prayer unto you. Through the name of your most precious Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that is all the time we have for today here on Children's Bible Minutes. We pray that you had fun learning about the rejection of Jesus and learning about the fact that it's not nice for us to reject others. It's not nice for us to reject Jesus. And we know it's not because we don't like to be rejected. Yes? I pray, boys and girls, that you will decide to follow Jesus. That you will decide that even if the world rejects you, you're going to keep walking with Jesus. As a matter of fact, Graffy picked out the following song from the Wonder Kids called Walking with Jesus to remind us that while others might say no to him, we're always going to say yes to Jesus. We do pray that you have a blessed and beautiful week coming up. Keep yourself safe since you have to be back in school. If you're out there and you're no longer homeschooling, wear your mask, wash your hands often, and watch your social distancing. Yes? Above all else, thank you for joining us on Children's Bible Minutes. Graphy Muki and I love sharing this time with you. Don't forget, God loves you, and we do too. Until tomorrow at 1.30 when we look at a new character value. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.